Psalm 52, the fate of cynics. You call yourself a mighty man, a big shot. Why do you boast in the evil you have done? Yet God's loyal love will protect me and carry the day. Listen, O deceiver, trickster of others. Your words are wicked, harming and hurting all who hear. You love evil and hate what is good and right. You would rather lie than tell the truth. You love to distort, devour and deceive, using your sly tongue to spin the truth. But the Almighty will strike you down forever. He will pull you up by your roots and drag you away to the darkness of death. The godly will see all this and will be awestruck. Then they will laugh at the wicked saying, see what happens to those great in their own eyes who don't trust in the most high to save them. Look how they trusted only in their wealth and made their living from wickedness. But I am like a flourishing olive tree, anointed in the house of God. I trust in the unending love of God. His passion toward me is forever and ever. Because it is finished, I will praise you forever and give you thanks before all your godly lovers I will proclaim your beautiful name. Psalm 53, the wickedness of the world. Only the withering soul would say to himself, there's no God for me. Anyone who thinks like that is corrupt and callous, depraved and detestable. They are devoid of what is good. The Lord looks down in love, bending over heaven's balcony. God looks over all of Adam's sons and daughters, looking to see if there are any who are wise with insight, any who search for him, wanting to please him, but no, all have wandered astray, walking stubbornly toward evil. Not one is good. He can't even find one. Look how they live in luxury while exploiting my people. Won't these workers of wickedness ever learn? They never even think of praying to God. Soon, unheard of terror will seize them while in their sins. God himself will one day scatter the bones of those who rose up against you. Doomed and rejected, they will be put to shame, for God has despised them. Oh, I wish a time of rescue were already here. Oh, that God would come forth now, arising from the midst of his Zion people, to save and restore his very own. When God fully restores his people, Jacob will rejoice, and Israel will be filled with gladness. Psalm 51, Pardon and Purity God, give me mercy from your fountain of forgiveness. I know your abundant love is enough to wash away my guilt. Because your compassion is so great, take away this shameful guilt of sin. Forgive the full extent of my rebellious
these ways and erase this deep stain on my conscience, for I am so ashamed. I feel such pain and anguish within me. I can't get away from the sting of my sin against you, Lord. Everything I did, I did right in front of you, for you saw it all against you and you above all have I sinned everything you say to me is infallibly true and your judgment conquers me Lord I have been a sinner from birth from the moment my mother conceived me I know that you delight to set your truth deep in my spirit. So come into the hidden places of my heart and teach me wisdom. Purify my conscience. Make this leper clean again. Wash me in your love until I am pure in heart. Satisfy me in your sweetness and my song of joy will return. The places you have crushed within me will rejoice in your healing touch. Hide my sins from your face. Erase all my guilt by your saving grace. Keep creating in me a clean heart. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desires ready to please you. May you never reject me. May you never take from me your sacred spirit. Let my passion for life be restored, tasting joy in every breakthrough you bring to me. Hold me close to you with a willing spirit that obeys whatever you say. Then I can show other guilty ones how loving and merciful you are. They will find their way back home to you, knowing that you will forgive them. Oh God. My saving God, deliver me fully from every sin, even the sin that brought blood guilt. Then my heart will once again be thrilled to sing the passionate songs of joy and deliverance. Lord God, unlock my heart, unlock my lips and I will overcome with my joyous praise for the source of your pleasure is not in my performance or the sacrifices I might offer you the fountain of your pleasure is found in the sacrifice of my shattered heart before you. You will not despise my tenderness as I bow down humbly at your feet. Because you favour Zion, do what is good for her. Be the protecting wall around Jerusalem. And when we are fully restored, you will rejoice and take delight in every offering of our lives as we bring our sacrifices of righteousness before you in love.